Hello, happy Monday. If you are new to the channel, my name is Samantha Anderson. I am a freelance artist and teacher who just loves all things art. I'm also a wife and a mother of two little ones, which I will have to be planning all of my video time around nap times, so hopefully that won't be a problem. <laughs> but we'll see. So I have been wanting to start a vlog, a studio vlog, an art vlog. I don't really know what to call it because I don't really have a studio. We live in a two bedroom apartment and most of the time when I record, I'm either in our bedroom, which is kind of where my office is or in the kitchen. So every other Monday I have a live paint night that I record for my kitchen. Um, but you probably wouldn't be able to notice because I have a backdrop, but I'm pretty sure in some classes, you can definitely see the oven. This is fine. Anyway, so because of this, I'm not really sure what to call it. Art studio, vlog. I'll just call it a studio vlog. So I've been wanting to start a vlog almost as a diary um, of all the progress that I'm making um, or not making, just as a way to organize and keep track of things. So I've been wanting to start one for a couple weeks and last week I was like, putting my foot down, I'm going to start a vlog. And then I realized it was Thanksgiving week. So that didn't happen, but that's okay. I decided that that was not a good week to start. So here we are, it's Monday and we're starting. In the future, I'm probably going to start my vlogs on Sunday because that's kind of when I do all of my planning and I write out everything that I need to do for the week. But alas, it is Monday and we are jumping right in. Sorry, I lost my pencil. I have my planner here. Um, and these are just some of the things that you'll probably see in this vlog, maybe more, maybe less. Um, but I have a paint night tonight, which I have to get ready for. I've already kind of done some makeup and hair and things like that. I'm not done, but I've already posted on the event page. So if you haven't liked my page, definitely go over there and like it. I'll leave a link in the description. And by the time you're seeing this, either Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be posting these, um, but you'll probably already see um, the video for that. So if you did not paint this on Monday, that video has already gone up. Um, I usually post the replays on Wednesday. Um, so you can head over to my YouTube channel. Wait, you're on my YouTube channel. Head over to the playlist and click on the live replays and I have a list of all of those classes. So I have my paint night tonight. Um, I have the video to post to that. I also have a speed painting that I need to edit and upload because I forgot to do that last week. And then for the end of November, which is today, it's Monday the 30th, um, I am a patron of Emily Harvey Hart. If you do not know who that is, she is a freelance artist and illustrator from the UK. Um, I'm a patron of hers and she is such a lovely human being. She's so inspiring and she's super sweet. I'll leave her information um, down in the description. She's super sweet and um, inspiring and kind of what inspired me to do a vlog too because I'm able to look back at her vlogs and just see how much she's grown and I think it's just super inspiring. So yeah, go check her out. But anyways, um, be, as a Patreon for the tier that I'm in, she does an art challenge and I've been trying to get into more digital art just as a free thing for me to do. Um, not necessarily to teach or anything like that. I don't have any expectation on it. It's just something that I get to artistically do um, but I'm very new at it I'm very green in it um, and she has this art challenge she gives like a prompt and so I do want to do that for November but I got really behind on everything and I forgot about it until a couple days ago so last night I started that um, so I will go ahead and show that footage now <music> Thank you. 
So that's what I did last night. I do want to finish that tonight because today I believe is the last day to submit that. Um, and it's really just to practice and show off and um, just have fun. And it's something that drives me to do something more artistic for fun, less um, and less on the work side um, because I also have a Patreon and I do content and I do classes and things like that. So it's nice to do something that's more for me rather than um, teaching, which I love. I love teaching and I love uh, sharing art and things like that. But sometimes it's fun to do just something for me that I'm not expected to do anything with. It's just for me. So that's what that. Um, so I do want to do that tonight um, at some point after my class, maybe when the kids go to bed. Um, and then for the rest of the week, I have I have a couple Secret Santas. One is with the Emily Harvey Hart um, group, so I need to send that off. I'm not going to show you what it is because I don't want anyone to see what I'm sending them. I also have a Lady Secret Santa that I'm a part of that I want to make a couple ornaments and maybe some cards with. So I'll definitely keep you in the loop with that. So that will be fun. Other things that I need to do this week. I already made my Patreon calendar and that's up. Oh, I got some watercolor recently and I am super green at watercolor, but I love watercolor and everything that I've explored so far. Um, for Christmas a couple years ago, my husband got me some watercolor brush pens and I've only recently started to dive into them. I found that they've been a little bit restricting in what they can do when I'm watching other videos on how to do watercolor. So I ended up buying a watercolor set on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description, but this is what I got. It is a, let's see, 48, I think. It doesn't show on the box. I think I threw the box away. Um, but it also comes with a little pad, so that's really nice. And then it comes with 48 colors. I'll probably do like a review video of this um, at some point. Look at these colors. Isn't this pretty? And again, I'm not like an expert, but this is going to be fun. So this is another one of my guilty pleasures <laughs> of being able just to do art because I want to do art, not necessarily because I'm teaching it. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And so hopefully I can do some watercolor this week just for fun, but we'll see. Now, other than that, I just have a lot of admin stuff. Oh, so my husband bought us a every year we get a couple ornaments to represent the year there's been a lot of conflicting ideas of christmas ornaments that have relation to covid because you know you celebrate things that you put on your tree but for us it's more of memories and, and for us covid has been a memory of family and growing together and so my husband bought this i don't know if you can see that with so it's, it's really light, so it's not going to hang on the tree, which is nice. But I don't know. It's For us, it was kind of a joke. It's funny. It has memories. Um, so we have four of us in the family now. Um, Liberty was born last year. Um, and there's this, this toilet paper and then hand sanitizer. Anyway, so um, he bought this, and I get to, like, personalize it. So... That's what I also need to do this week so we can put it on our tree. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. I might do a couple other things, but we'll see if I have time. So yeah, so let's get started on the week. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and um, good evening, depending on where you're from. It was really, really great. I had a ton of people there. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I started doing online paint nights um, probably seven months ago. Um, it was about a maybe a month after quarantine started, um, and we kind of realized that in-person paint nights weren't really going to be a thing. 
So I started doing online paint nights and for the first six months it was like maybe 50 people would respond, which I was like, cool. Um, and when I say respond, I mean about like interested or going. And then about three months ago, I want to say, something happened in the Facebook algorithm of things or whatever. Um, but I had a huge spike. Um, I had almost a thousand people RSVP'd or going and it just kind of went up from there. Um, so that's actually what inspired me to start a Patreon and create more content for people um, because I started getting noticed and my paint nights started getting really big. Um, so this last one that has been the biggest one of them all. It was a sailboat, which was really cool. Uh, since October, I've been creating my own content, which has been really cool, which is why I've been able to upload it to YouTube. So we did a sailboat, a cloudy day sailboat. So if you haven't checked that out and you want to, um, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, um, I mean, I'll show you. Look at how crazy this is. Look at that number people reached. That is crazy. And I have almost 5,000 responses on it. That's either interested or going. What is going on? Look at how pretty these are. So look at this. So this is, the, this is my painting. That's the one that I did. And then look at how pretty these are. How fun is that? They just keep going. I think I had almost 200 people at one point. I think I had 200 people at one point painting with me. Or at least um, on my live stream. How fun. Anyways. So I do have a little bit of admin work. Um, I'll try to film some of that, but I'm not really sure if you want to watch me do admin work. So I wanted to film the rest of me doing my Patreon um, November art challenge from Emily Harvey Art. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen tonight. Um, so I might have to just do it on my own time and not really have it for the November challenge, but just do it because I want to finish it, not because it's for a challenge. <laughs> but that's okay um, if that happens. If I don't have time tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and do some admin work. Um, and then uh, let's see the other thing I need to do. Oh, I need to create a postcard for um, one of my patrons. She's at the highest tier. And um, part of that perk is you get a postcard. For right now, they get to choose. So anything that I create in that month. So I've created, I think, five paintings this month for November. And she, uh, she picked the snowy mountain ones all right here. So she gets a postcard of that. So I'm going to be sending that out, but I have to put, I have to print it first. Um, so I have to get my card stock and everything. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. Yeah. Let's get on that admin work. All right. So I realized that I did not have the correct paper for a postcard in my apartment, which means um, I won't be able to print it on my own. I'll have to get it printed, um, which is totally fine, but I probably will be ordering some supplies in the next week. Um, I still need to order some watercolor brushes, stamps, and then um, now I need to order some cardstock. Um, although I found these already cut five by seven cardstock, like four posters or four um, postcards. So I might get those. Um, Cause also let me know in the comments below um, if you see my art and you like my art and you would want to buy greeting cards or postcards or anything like that. Let me know in the comments below and I could potentially open up a shop. Um, it's been kind of on my like in the back of my head to-do list, sort of, but um, if 
I see that there's a demand and like people want to buy greeting cards and things like that, um, I'll definitely put it um, higher up on the list. Um, but with that said, I don't really have anything else to do tonight, so maybe I can get to some drawing. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So, yeah, let's go draw. Hello, it is now Tuesday. As you probably saw, I was in the middle of drawing and my tablet just decided to die. I went and plugged it in. I thought it was charging and it was not. Um, and then I couldn't get it to turn it back on because um, it needed to charge. So I decided to wrap it up for the night. Um, it's been a crazy busy morning, so I haven't gotten around to finish it. So hopefully I can do that tonight, but I am now doing some computer work. As you can see, my computer is out. And then this morning, uh, my husband had a Cricut job that I needed to do. Um, so I helped him out with that, which is why my Cricut is still out. Um, but yeah, so I did that this morning. And then, yeah, so moving on um, for the things I need to get done today is... Um, on my computer. I just have to edit my live paint night that I did last night, which was really fun. Um, I know I probably will talk about it a lot this vlog, but um, I just love them so much and I've gotten even more people posting their pictures and it's just a lot of fun to look at and there's a really, really great online community for painting, so it's really fun to be a part of and it's just a lot of fun and it's great. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on editing that video so that I can get it posted to YouTube so that'll go up tomorrow. Let's see, where's my notebook? Okay. Oh, I also have to create a Q&A. So last month for my patrons, I was supposed to do a Q&A, but last week was Thanksgiving and I kind of threw off my week and I wasn't able to get it done. So I need to record that um, today, tonight. Um, probably while I'm doing, while things are saving on my computer, because it's, I don't know, it's like a two hour video, so it takes a long time to process, so hopefully I can get that recorded in that amount of time, um, and kind of double up on my things that I need to get done. And then maybe if I have time, I can finish my drawing. So, I'll see you in a few. Also, December means it's hot chocolate season, right? All right, hello. Um, I have just finished a bunch of things. Um, I finished and uploaded the live class replay. I have recorded the Q&A, so that should be going up within the next day or so. I need to get it edited. And then I also forgot that I never uploaded a speed painting of my one of my Patreon classes. Um, the snowy mountain, so I just posted that. So yeah, I got a lot done. I'm really happy um, But my kids just woke up from their nap. They're watching some TV right now, so um, I'm gonna wrap up today. I might show you the rest of my Drawing for my all wrapped up challenge for November. So hopefully I will be adding that to this video so
hello i am at my local craft store and i'm gonna go get some fun things so see you in there store and I'm excited to open this. So this comes with 12 balls and they are, are they plastic? Yeah, it's plastic. Um, yeah, so this is what they look like. Um, what I plan to do is put paint on the inside and then let it drain in this cup so yeah i'm planning to do three and uh yeah so let's get started so i, I this is unintentional but these apparently have like a almost like a iridescent glow to them do you see this when i put the paint in there it like you can see it all? That's actually really cool. I didn't know that they were like that when I bought them. All right, so I'm not very observant. Um, as these are drying and draining, I went back to here. Iridescent glass ornament. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm silly. I think it's actually really, really cool. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Look how cool this is. It's not quite what I was going for, but it's actually like, I don't know. It just adds something different to it. All right, so while those are drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. So I'm gonna put our names on their Santa hat and then the Andersons. And yeah, that should be a lot of fun. So these are the finished product. Look at how cute these are. I think the rose is my favorite. Isn't this pretty? There's nothing on the back, but when you turn it around, there's the rose. And then this was the first one I did. It's kind of all around. On the bottom, all around. And for this one, I just kind of did the top down. So that's this one. Isn't that cute? It was such an easy process. It was way easier than I anticipated it. And um, 
I'm really excited for my Secret Santa to get it. Hi, it's now Saturday. I realized I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. Um, I'm still new at this, so I'll get better. I also realized I talked a lot in this vlog after editing it. Um, I apologize for that. I will get better at really showing the things that matter and not necessarily like my thought process for everything. But I hope you enjoyed this and um, see you next week.